um, parcels, books, magazines, newspapers, uh, FedEx, uh, up to a medium box it will take because it's three inches thick and 18 inches wide. So you just shovel your mail through and you'll see as long as you don't have a thread item, any kind of a contraband in there, then, it, then you're, you're good. But whether it's corporate security, prisons, um, or private business, uh, depending on what your threat object is, for prisons, even a paper clip is a threat because they can pick cup keys. For most corporations, private security, all you're looking for as you shovel your mail through it alarms, and so there would have to be a protocol in place what to do with the alarm, but uh, what you're looking for is letter bomb components. Right. So, uh, in prisons... Put a nice clean stamp on that, Yeah. Right on the other side. Oh, yeah. You always want to blame Canada. Right. <laughs> uh, so, for prisons, though, just to give you an idea of the capability of this, so they're looking for anybody that might be smuggling any cuff keys in the mail, books. I got an automatic shut off on the alarm. Money, ammunition. And at this setting, it's basically for corporate security. Hacksaw blades, razor blades. Now, the smaller objects are much more difficult and they're harder to see. And so whether uh, inmate families or others are trying to uh, smuggle them into bindings of books, you would change the setting to an NIJ very small object setting. So like that thin razor blade which comes out of a, a big shaver, they're a big threat inside the prisons. So no detection at that level. Now you would just go in and reprogram, which is real easy. And then you go down to program, you hit enter, and you go down. Let's go down to NIJ prisons, very small. Hit that. Now, if that was in, in a book, now it gets it. In fact, it's so sensitive now, some prisons don't even want inmates to get it. Uh, staples because they can put them on the ends of pens and use them for yeah. gouging and stuff. So even at that level, so obviously again, that's to too, way too staples. sensitive for, for uh, you know, personal corporate security. You don't even care about those. Right. So you would just again change the uh, change the setting. If this was a, a personal executive because again your whole goal is to stop mail uh, you know, letter box. So let's just change that back to where we were. And now, regardless of how many paper clips you got going through the mail, it's fine. So it, it really depends on your application. But we use it, and it also has gamma detection, radiation. So here's a nice radiation source. I don't know if you knew they were radioactive really? yeah so then you just lay these all the time yeah they're really so you, radioactive yeah i'll show you so you lay your mail on there and then you just hit start and it's a geiger counter and if it exceeds 15 counts per second then it will alarm and it's alarming and the level is 15 so we're right at the limit wow yeah so regardless of uh Regardless of your make or manufacture, any of the Coleman. Reset, measure that one. These are hard to come by too, these old mantles. Yeah. And that one's 16. up at 16. So very, very versatile. So the radiation is always, you lay it on the top as opposed to the pasture. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. yep. Now, those products come multi-voltage, multi-phase. Does this come 120, 60 hertz, and 220, 50 hertz? Yes. Yep. yep. And you just plug and plug yep. They give you different plugs, too, for Europe, for whatever application uh, you're using. Or, or we have one that we could deploy to different countries and just plug it in. Yes. Okay. Yep. Does it get, it so comes the same. So this is an amazing technology. Yep. All the different plugs. 
former Dep uh, Department of Homeland Security uh, Chief Louis Riggs said that we're not doing enough to detect dirty bombs passing in the mail. Chea seems to have a solution. Okay. So we'll work on that.